Welcome to Powerbone Rib TV. I'm Paul Glatzel and I'm here in Parma on the first showing of the Brabus Shadow 300. Um, and what a, what a boat it actually is. Um, we're going to have a quick walk around, look at some of the key features, give you a bit of an insight into the boat. The Brabus Shadow 300 is based on the Axopar 25 and we see it here in the water sports mode. But there are other options in terms of U-shaped seating as opposed to the seating arrangement we've got here. We start at the rear. What we're looking at um, is a Mercury Verado engine um, in the Brabus branding. And we've got a great setup there. We've actually even got features like um, a switch to actually switch the exhaust in terms of a quiet mode or a sort of an open mode. Um, we've obviously got swim platforms and we've got the ladder to actually sort of climb back up into the back of the boat. And we move forward and we've got this seating arrangement here. Um, what you won't be able to see from where you are is necessarily the storage we've actually got. But if I lift the hatch and you come round, you can actually see we've got loads of stuff actually in the locker there. And that's a huge amount of storage. We've got battery switches in there um, and fuses. So you can imagine you can easily get wakeboards, water skis, uh, sups in there. So you've got loads of space to actually do stuff. And one of the nice features on this, you can see things like cup holders, is we can actually lift out this seat back, rotate it round, and seat it into, just needs a little bit of jiggling around to get the other seat format there. So it just gives a nice sort of structure to actually have a more sort of crash pad or a seating arrangement for people on board. Moving forward, you can see at the side of the boat, We've actually got the bungees. We can have configurations where we can put weight boards in there. We've got a wash down feature. We've got obviously a huge music system, which you would uh, expect on a boat like this. You can see lots of speakers knocking around. And we've got the powder coated T-top here, uh, which is huge actually and covers literally from the screen all the way back to cover um, the, <clears throat> the bed area at the back there, which gives plenty of cover if you wish it. But equally, there's still plenty of space to get out and into the sun. Two seats forward here in a configuration where we can move them between the more sitting or the more bolster type arrangements and there are slide mechanisms to move those seats backwards and forwards. And we've also got a nifty little arrangement where underneath each seat there's something else. So here we have a sink and on this side we actually have a mini little fridge as well. Coming forward to the helm position, got a really nice, neat arrangement with twin Simrad multifunction displays. Um, we've got fully carbon elements to the helm here, and we've got the Brabus Shadow 300 um, with the signature of the owner, uh, Constantine, which is a nice little touch. Switch system in a very nice, sort of like professional little way. Um, Audio control, we've also got the throttle with the electronic start stop, and then we've got the steering wheel here with controls for the audio system, um, also bow thruster, um, and it's a really nice arrangement. So the steering wheel moves independently of the central control system. What we've also got here is this T top arrangement. You can see powder coated black uh, structure to that. Um, and what they've actually done up top is rather than have a full GRP structure, the top is actually canvas, and that's a means to actually reduce the weight of the T-top, because one of the problems you can be if you've got a really heavy T-top, then that's going to inject roll into the boat because it raises the centre of gravity. So a nice soft top canvas. You can't move that back, but you've got plenty of areas where you can get into the sun on this boat anyway. Just looking forward, another interesting arrangement is this screen. Um, and you might be able to see some slight slider bits here. And we can actually undo, we need to undo it both sides at the same time. But if we under, undo on both sides, we can slide down we've actually got a lower screen. So in the fully up mode, we're really deflecting all of the air over the top of the T-top. And in this lower mode, we're obviously more exposed to the wind, but a really nice little arrangement. Lots of storage type areas. And if we look forward to the bow area, we can actually see forward, we've got obviously an anchor locker there at the bow. And then we've obviously got a sun pad slightly uh, aligned on the starboard side there. And by pushing it more onto the starboard side and having the walkway down the port side, it actually just means we're not constraining that sun pad area, giving us a bit more space, which is nice. And just after the sun pad area, we've got a little bit of a, a glass area there to actually throw some light down into the cabin below. And in that cabin below, uh, 
inevitably on a boat this side it's not going to be huge but it gives you plenty of storage does give you the facility for uh, some overnighting and potentially somewhere to put the kids if they get a bit fed up with uh, being in the water all day so thanks for watching this quick roundup of a Brabus Shadow 300. Um, great to have it here on Powerboat and Rib TV today in Palmer. Check out our social media feeds for other Axapar vessels and from other brands.